All right, Birdie has a the split hand grip. Show, show me how you do it. Okay, so this is a split hand grip, but we're working on swing path. Yeah. All right, how, what you're feeling in the upper body. So take your normal lead hand grip uh, and make sure that you're holding the, the club shaft parallel to your toe line, but make sure your lead, back of your lead wrist is completely straight down. Okay, that gives you that 45 degree angle on the club face. Grip the shaft. On, so I'm putting the left hand over my left toe and the right hand over my right toe. The shaft is pointing on the target line, yeah? Yeah. So all I'm doing is rotating my upper body and I'm really feeling the stretch there and that's a good position. If I move my hand now, that's an ideal kind of position to reach. Okay? Now, that's, an, that's a neutral swing play. If we're trying to work the ball on a path that's going out to win, all that I do is just set up with my upper body and the club shaft pointing this way, left of the target, mm -hmm. and swing my shoulders back along this line. Okay, so now the club face will look as if it's pointing left of the target at the top, but swinging the club back down, I'm gonna be coming across the ball from an out to in swing path. That's great. And conversely, yeah, if I'm gonna learn how to hit the draw, yeah. I just all I do is I set up the same thing, but I point, instead of pointing the shaft at the target, yeah. I'm just pointing the shaft right at the target. Well, that's how, that's how I set up, for sure, yeah. And then just swing back on this plane. Suddenly, if I carried on on this thing, it would go across the top, mm -hmm. but essentially if I reach the top there, I'm reaching impact with the conditions of my hips and my shoulders being slightly squarer to the target than hitting a, a fake. So it's a very simple way of reaching a position at the top of the backswing for a neutral shot if it's pointing at the target, for a fade if it's pointing left at the target, and for a draw if it's pointing right at the target. Give it a go. Put your thumb out as well. I gotta, I gotta grip it first. Left hand, left hand grip only. Yep. Now lift up the shaft. Now that's it there. It's a critical that that's flat. Yeah. Now, now move that on to its. That's it. No, over a bit further this way. That's it. So this one covers your left toe and this one covers your right toe. Yep. Okay. Now give you more spine angle until that's it, right? Now neutral swing plane. There, perfect, right? Okay. Now a, a fade swing plane. Swing along that. that perfect. Yeah. And now a, new, a, a draw swing plane. And you can feel your whole body reaches a position that supports that swing path. Yeah. So that's the one I, I believe that you should be working on more. It yeah. gets the left hip clear that clear out of the way. Right hand grip change, the other's on the side of the shaft. That's it. Now hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's probably a bit much there, so. Hang on, just do the left hand grip only. And this hand the other way around, that's it. That arm's hanging, more spine until there you go. So all that is is just the club face being slightly close to the path because yeah, the path so was good. Yeah, the path was left, the face was a little more more left. 